stimulus package could be critical to helping local businesses survive through this pandemic. WBZ's Nick Giovanni has more now from Boston. Well, as part of the $2 trillion deal reached between the White House and Senate leaders from both parties overnight, $400 billion has been set aside specifically for small businesses. So bottom line, how much could that actually help small businesses impacted by the coronavirus outbreak? We have to recognize that our small businesses and our consumers have a liquidity problem. That was John Hurst of the Mass Retailers Association, who says this stimulus package can't come soon enough for small businesses and consumers. The $400 billion coming in the form of grants and loans to small businesses, another $500 billion in loans set aside for big businesses. There's also a job crisis, a small business liquidity crisis, an ec economic crisis, and that, you know, going forward has to be at least uh, an equal discussion, an equal priority to make sure that we get out of this uh, collectively in good shape. As for American workers, the stimulus package includes a one-time cash payment for most, up to $1,200 per individual, $3,000 for the average family. It also expands unemployment insurance from 26 weeks to 39 in most states, boosting benefits by $600 a week. And according to Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, $100 billion has now been allotted for hospitals and the health system, which includes investments into personal and protective equipment for health care workers. After days of intense discussions, the Senate has reached a bipartisan agreement on a historic relief package for this pandemic. To all Americans, I say, help is on the way. Big help and quick help. The Senate is expected to vote on that bill at some point today, and Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says it will pass and then be sent to the House. Reporting from the Financial District, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News. The commuter rail added several.